14th, February 2019, a day when an incident at Pulwama triggered a sequence of events in the region. A young Kashmiri freedom fighter blew himself against a bus, carrying Indian Central Reserve Police Force soldiers, killing over 40 of them. India immediately accused Pakistan for the incident, while the Prime Minister of Pakistan offered India, despite offers from Pakistan, in the wee hours of February 26th, approached Pakistan airspace of three corridors, Sialkot, Bhabalpur and Kashmir. In the Kashmir sector, four Indian aircrafts entered four to five nautical miles inside Pakistan airspace. However, upon effective challenging, aircrafts dropped their payload, which fell in free flight in the open area of the Jabba forest reserves. India initially claimed targeting of a Jaish Madrasa and the killing of over 300 militants in the compound. It will be immature to say, uh, premature, sorry, to, uh, to say that uh, what is the number of casualties we have been able to uh, inflict? India kept changing claims. <laughs> which eroded the veracity with international community. Later, both Pakistani and international media visited the impact site which negated Indian claims. Pakistan responded. PAF, while staying within Pakistani airspace, locked four Indian military targets. The Indian Air Force, having known of the Pakistan counter-strikes, once again tried to enter Pakistani airspace in the Kashmir sector. Pakistan Air Force was fully alert to take on the intruding aircraft. Pakistan Air Force shot down two Indian jets. The wreckage of one fell just across the line of control inside Indian-occupied Jammu and Kashmir and one aircraft, a MiG-21, fell inside Pakistan territory at Peel Gully. The pilot ejected and was immediately got hold of by angered local civilians. My name is Wing Commander Abhinandan. I'm a Bharati Vayu Sena. I'm a Gladaku Vimanchalak. I'm trying to find the target. Now, the Air Force has been killed. The Pakistani Army 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 has been this remained a false claim as India could not provide any evidence. Images put out, this is the wreckage of the Pakistani F-16 and how uh, the Indian Air Force knows this is an F-16 is because if you see this part, Nabijit can explain it to us. So I don't think that's entirely accurate. That part is actually a MiG-21 part. The night of the 27th and the 28th of February was very tense. There was a credible intelligence about Indian plans to launch conventional missile strike on Pakistan's military targets, taking a notch higher in the escalation ladder. Sensing Pakistan's credible retaliation, India backed out from the intended missile strikes, but undertook intense exchange of ground fire all along the line of control. The Prime Minister of Pakistan announced the return of the Indian pilot. Um, as a peace gesture, the gesture was hailed by the international community as a possible step towards de-escalation. However, Indian political leadership and media continued with their war hysteria. And like you, I also want Pakistan punished. An Indian submarine was spotted by the Pakistan Navy. Pakistan Navy showed restraint despite having the capability to engage. The situation thereafter remained relatively calm without any official de-escalation. South Asia once again narrowly escaped a major catastrophe. Pakistan feels that the current regional stability matrix remains disturbed due to the presence of a belligerent regime which is hostage to the concept of Hindutva, Indian offensive orientation which seriously impacts upon regional stability.
what is the world community going to do? Is it going to appease a market of 1.2 billion or is it going to stand up for justice and humanity? If a convention war starts and it could, anything could happen, but supposing a country seven times smaller than its neighbor is faced with the choice, either you surrender or you fight for your freedom till death, what will we do? I ask myself this question. And my belief is, la 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 la, there is no God but one. And we will fight. And when a nuclear armed country fights to the end, it will have consequences far beyond the borders. <laughs> In a nutshell, the peace and stability of South Asia remains contingent upon the resolution of the long-pending core issue of Kashmir.